What does the process of deconditioning look like? Okay, so we are taught to function in a specific way through living in a family, in a society, in a culture, speaking a specific language that we were born with or multiple to define us. And we want to be what we're not because we're attracted to what we're not. We take on the conditioning that's around us. You're supposed to behave this way in order to be a good person. You're supposed to try really hard, work really hard, do so much, fast, now, be successful, be this, be that. Rarely are we told, especially in the school system, to look inside. Rarely are we encouraged to look at our differentiation, to really try going in, going in, <laughs> and trying to discover who that person is. Yes, you are a part of a family. Yes, you are a part of a society. Yes, you are a part of the world. Yes, you interact with other humans, but how do you interact with them? How does your aura interact with them? Can you even notice how you interact with others on a deeper level? Can you see that your body operates in a specific way if you let it? Okay, the deconditioning. Deconditioning looks like this. You get a reading, you get presented to you what your openness is, where you get stuck, your shadows, however we want to call it, so that you get to observe it, so they get to see that you do not take that as an authority, that you do not trust that to lead you through life, that you do not take any of those things, any of those aspects, and use them as something that makes decisions for direction on where you go in life, what do you do. That there is a specific place in your body that you do trust. Okay, so you have these two points, right? You have a specific situation that you observe in yourself that leads you to true decision-making as yourself, where you continue honoring yourself and your own decision-making. When you forget to function in ways that you were supposed to function in, but you integrate yourself in the, in the world, but just as yourself. And you slowly see, start to see that the resistance falls off. That you actually are supported in the world to be yourself. I mean, yes, at the beginning, your mind is going to drive you crazy. It's going to tell you that you need to do exactly the opposite. It's going to tell you that you there is no other way. That this is how it's been always. That this is who I'm supposed to be. This is what good people do. I mean, I'm. This is. I. I don't. I don't get to be me. It's not allowed. I don't get to just exist. It's not allowed. But I need to do th this. I, I need to go there. I need to be there. I need to be a part of this group, but that group. I need to follow these rules and those rules. I need to. I need to. I need to be a good person. The beauty of deconditioning is that you get to observe places and thoughts. You get to observe thoughts that are specific to your not self. You get to learn when your mind is telling you things that are just simply not true. When you're just taking in other people's expectations, when you're taking in other people's emotions. 
when you're taking in other other people when you're taking in other people's identifications within the world when you're being addicted to energy when you're running around trying to whoop glue to the energy because you feel so empty without it that you don't need to run around like a headless chicken <laughs> to get you down as fast as possible if that isn't your authority that it's okay that mental pressure appears in your mind that your mind's telling you to think about this and that and all of those things but that you don't need to take that as truth that you can see it and you're like Whew, well that's funny my mind's telling me to think about this specific thing right now and it's just so unnecessary <laughs> how interesting that my mind is telling me to do this or telling me not to do that how interesting is it that I keep wanting to stay in this relationship even though nothing really works but damn I feel so safe with them that it is okay to not have a defined identity that it is okay to switch between who you are in the world. This, that, da, da, tru, tra, dress up like this, like that, da, da, da. Be very fluid. That it is okay. <laughs> you know? It's just about noticing specifics in yourself and not falling in despair. It is just seeing this vastness of who you are. That it is learning about who you are and unlearning to give power to what you're not. To notice not self, but not encourage it to exist in its full potential, but just to see it. Notice it, see it, and identify it.